Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing the 2016 iteration of the long-running edition Le Petit Prince, this time rendered on the base of the IWC Pilot's Watch Chronograph. This is reference 3777-17, mm in stainless steel. It's a handsome piece and a large one with the essential form of the big pilot's watch in a more wearable 43mm case combined with the instrument style dial calibrations of the Mark series. On my 16cm circumference wrist you can see the watch wears fairly well. It's the shape of the case more than the size of the case that makes this one wearable. As you can see the lugs duck down dramatically at their edges. It is a big watch no doubt. 43mm in diameter, 15.4mm thick though with a nicely stepped case flank. And lug to lug, it is a broad 53.4 millimeters with a 21 millimeter spacing between the lugs, should you wish to throw it on a strap. And it does look excellent on the IWC Santoni as well as aftermarket NATOs. Now, zoom in a little closer. You can see the bracelet design. A classical multi link aviator with alternating polish and satin. And you can see the flanks are of satin, and there's no clear means of sizing the bracelet as there are neither pin sleeves nor screws until you turn it over and you realize that the entire bracelet is modular. Every single link that features an outer sizing dimple can be removed. So you simply press the dimple and then you force the bar through, and you can actually disassemble this bracelet with nothing more than two halves of a broken toothpick. So it's a wonderful system if you really want to get in close and clean the links of your bracelet, or if you want to get a very precise sizing, both sides of the bracelet completely sizable, every single link removable. The clasp is a handsome piece. Externally, you can see satin finish and high polish, the flanks of high polish, twin trigger release, which I always love because that's absolute security. Internal, you can see there is engine turning, which I happen to love because that's yet another type of finish. And IWC going above and beyond with the triple finish on this clasp, the satin, the polish, and the engine turning. And then there is an internal push button incremental slider. So you actually have 12 millimeters of adjustment incrementally, all of that actuated by pressing the IWC logo externally. So it's a very handsome, secure, and clever clasp. The bracelet itself is a brilliant piece, and you'll enjoy getting a very precise fit with this watch. On the crown side, you can see the IWC logo and motto on the crown. There is a deep and sharp knurling that makes this screw down crown a pleasure to use. There are shouldered chronograph pushers to brace them and visually add a little bit more body so they have a bit more mass to match against the crown. And you can see the flank of the case is actually double finished. There is a bevel that runs along the side and flares at the end of the lugs. And then you can see that the bezel itself features a vertical portion with satin grain and then just above that there's a conical portion of high polish. Longitudinal satin finish on the case. Let's look at the dial and take in the Petit Prince blue metallic sunburst. Now there are two Antoine de Saint-Exupéry themed models in the collection. I should say themed lines because they do straddle several models. But there's Petit Prince which features a blue dial and then there is Antoine de Saint-Exupéry which is always a brown bronze sunburst. Here you can see it's the blue of the Petit Prince and you have the broad sword style hands of an IWC pilot's watch. You have sunken sub registers with concentric snailing, and then you have stepped apertures for the date eight, which makes this a very user friendly watch. The combination of the chronograph and the complex calendar giving the watch a great deal of utility. Of course, a shock of red to remind you which of the dials is constant seconds. The watch features a number of refinements caliber 79320, it's based on a high grade value 7750. You have stop seconds, and you also have a bi directional quick set. So the day and the date both. And you can see that it's a very convenient system to adjust. Now the chronograph is the final part of the equation. You can see you have chronograph minutes up to 30 at 12 o'clock and you have chronograph hours up to 12 down at 6 o'clock. Let me finish my quick setting job with that calendar right there, boom. And screwing down the crown, you attain 60 meters of water resistance, which with a screwed in case back and a screw down crown is sufficient for swimming. There's a soft iron cage internally to add anti-magnetism. And in a unique refinement, IWC equips the watch with specialized seals so that the crystal and the seals of the pushers and the crown won't eject if you're in a cockpit that explosively decompresses. You probably won't need that, but like the helium escape valve on divers, it's more than you need, and that's the definition of luxury. On the case back, the petite prince himself, no doubt lording over his asteroid, or I should say his small asteroid realm, the 
Watch internally is a 7750, but highly modified by IWC in that six position regulated and specified to the top or chronometer spec. So top and chronometer spec is achieved at ETA, IWC doing six position regulation on the movement. 44 hour power reserve, 25 joules, 28.8 beat rate, unidirectional winding. You know the 7750, that's the drill. So. A precise watch, a tough watch, a clever watch, a beautiful dial, a clever bracelet, and a versatile clasp. This watch is the total package. If you're looking for a sporting chronograph with a pilot's theme, it's tough to do any better. A handsome 2016 to present edition. It also, of course, evokes a wonderful chapter in children's literature and the aviation legacy of Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. See it and own it on the watch box. IWC Pilot's Chronograph by Night.